Bluehost was dreamt up in 1996 in a small college dorm room. Boy, don't we all wish we dreamt up a million dollar idea in college. In any case, today guys, we're going to learn how to install WordPress on Bluehost so that you can launch any sort of website or blog you're dreaming of. I know when you're starting out, even though people say this stuff is easy, things might seem confusing even still. And most importantly, you don't want to miss a step or do it wrong from the start. We've helped over 100,000 people set up a WordPress website, so I'm really confident that today we can get you a website from scratch. So if that sounds like something you want to do, then keep watching the video and I'll show you how in the next steps. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Greg. Glad you're still there, by the way. And I wanted to cover the steps we're going to do in this video to get your website or blog launched. All right. And by the end, you're going to leave here with a complete blogger website, which is awesome. Just like all the professional bloggers and entrepreneurs we see. So the first step we're going to do today is just visit bluehost.com and talk about the prices of hosting and how to get you the best discount available today. The next step we're going to do is get a domain name. So you get to choose your unique dot com dot org dot net dot biz and that's really one of the coolest parts of the process because it's you choosing how you brand yourself you might need to talk to your team or your friends or your family on what to pick once we get our domain name we're going to install wordpress and in doing all those three things wordpress by the way is free to use once you choose to use bluehost once we get those three things you'll actually be getting hosting as well you'll have gotten self-hosted WordPress because that's what Bluehost provides. And when we make the commitment to actually set this stuff up and finally do it the right way, you are getting hosting, you're getting a domain name, you're getting WordPress, all of it together. And it's going to make sense if it doesn't right now. So as you can tell, I'm pretty excited to get started. I hope you are too. And I want you to know I value your time. So we're going to do things quickly today. But if things do feel too quick, you can always pause the video or go back because it's on YouTube or wherever you're watching it. And if anything doesn't make sense, just ask me any question in the comments and I'll go ahead and get back to you, hopefully the same day with an answer. So go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee or whatever you like to drink. If you want to hit like on the video, that'd be cool too. And subscribe so you'll get all our Bluehost tips after we're done today. And with that said, let's learn how to install WordPress at Bluehost. Pop open your computers and visit bluehost.com and I'll see you there. All right, guys, so here we are at bluehost.com, and they're really simple and clean, and honestly, might be the first web host that you've heard of, other than maybe GoDaddy. We can click on Start Building to make our WordPress site. But before we get started, I really would recommend you check out gregnarion.com forward slash bluehost. This page will show you if there's any seasonal discounts at Bluehost, and also you can rest easy at night that you search for the best Bluehost discount coupon and found it, which right now is $2.95 a month. I'll tell you one thing that if you built this website with a developer and had them do everything for you, they would charge up to $1,000 or even $2,500. I'm sure you've heard of those stories. And if you don't believe me, just do a search for local web designers in your town and you'll be amazed. This price right here is about 71% off. So if you did that math, you would find that. And that's really amazing because a lot of people, when they sign up to Bluehost, tell me they got it for $3.95 a month or $4.95 a month even. And I know that every little dollar and cent matters. And I'm like, what the heck? How did you not get $2.95 a month? So it's going to be awesome. And to make sure you get this price, just go ahead and click Get Started Now. And that will lock in the discount. That will also give me a little credit from Bluehost. And I really appreciate it. It comes at no cost to you. But that's just how I keep my videos free for everyone and how I make my small income here on YouTube. So now that that's taken care of and we've locked in our discount, we can close that window. And now we have the two options to get started. There's shared hosting, which means your website lives in a huge building on like a flash drive with a bunch of other awesome bloggers and entrepreneurs, $2.95 a month. Or you can get the website builder with WordPress, which is even easier, drag and drop, and my favorite 300 plus design templates. So both cases, you'll get a free domain and you'll get a free SSL and you're gonna get WordPress install and support. And the SSL, by the way, is this little padlock icon. So customers know your site is secure from hackers. But because we wanna keep this as simple as possible and because you probably wanna use WordPress to begin with, we're gonna start building with the WordPress website builder. So click on that. 
All right, and then we're gonna go with the basic because it's the cheapest option. And you can also do unlimited websites, which is amazing. You can do like your website, your family's website, the pizza shop down the road if they want you to make a website for them. And then you can get paid or free pizza. So we're gonna do this basic option because you can do all those websites. All right, now it's time to create a new domain name. And I have one in mind. It's just bluehostforbeginners.com. It should tell users what your site's about and what your mission is. And my mission is to make Bluehost easier for beginners. So if you don't have a good idea, that's fine. You can always go with your first name, last name.com. And that way you'll at least control where your name goes, which is good for a resume or portfolio site. Or when employers Google you, at least you'll be able to know where your name goes and put up the right information for employers to see. Okay, so that's cool. And you can also use a domain you own from somewhere like GoDaddy or Namecheap if you got one already. And I'll show you how to connect that domain name to your hosting. You'll just wanna go ahead and pop that in here and then proceed and get your web hosting. And then after we get our web hosting registered, we can connect the domain to the hosting. That's how it works. All right, we're gonna create a new domain name though. So let's click next. And of course, Bluehost offers a free domain name. They always have for one year. Just a heads up, after one year, you will need to pay the domain name cost, which is about 15 a year. And all of us web design people pay that. I think I pay for like 50 domain names a year, so only one won't hurt you. All right, now we're just gonna pop in our name and go ahead and check out. And it's gonna be just like when you buy something online, like at eBay, Amazon, Apple, Android, wherever you shop online, super secure. I don't usually sign in with Google because that's just too complicated for me. I just check out old school. So we got first name, last name, business name. We can leave blank. We're in the US, although Bluehost supports international users. Pretty awesome. And then I'm just gonna pop in my street address, city, state, zip. All right. And phone number and email address. Once you got your email in there, double check it to make sure it's correct because they'll send setup info to your email address of choice. Make sure it's your good one. Then package information. We can see when we choose our packages, we get a lower price for registering the 12 month here as opposed to the 36 month. So obviously we're gonna go with 12 months and that time period is perfect for getting used to WordPress. It took me about 11 months before I made, I think $50 from an advertising check that someone wrote because I sponsored them on my blog. And if I hadn't made it that far, I would never have known that I could make money on WordPress, blogging, and so on and so forth. So it really does take some time. So the hosting price is then just gonna be 295 times 12, that's 3540. Really low cost and awesome cost to be on the same software as huge bloggers and entrepreneurs. With package information done, we're gonna go to package extras, uncheck everything because we can always add this later on through Bluehost live chat support. They'll be happy to help if you decide you want one of these. But for now, we just wanna keep this on a shoestring budget. All right, guys, lastly, we have our payment information and we're almost ready, like I said, just a couple clicks and we'll have a WordPress blog live and you'll be amazed how easy WordPress.org is, even if you thought you had to like connect the microwave to the toaster with a wire to the fridge to your computer to get self-hosted WordPress working. It's not even close to that hard anymore. Okay, so credit card number, I'm just gonna blank that out. So you can't go on like a massive dinner date on my card. All right, make sure everything's in there correct. And then it's time to scroll down and check this box here and click submit. And once we click submit in the next step, Bluehost will set up WordPress for you. So you don't need to know any code, any HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, C++, Python, Linux, any of those code languages to get WordPress set up. And I apologize, our dog, Kova the Kavapu is barking outside right now. But we're gonna get this Bluehost thing complete because it's important to take initiative and make that commitment to ourselves to start a blog the right way. And after we do this, I promise I will show you a picture of little Kova. Okay, so let's hit submit together and WordPress will be taken care of for us. And then we can log in and start learning how to make a blog at Bluehost. Okay, we were a big success. It says next, let's create your account. And your receipt down here was all billed to your email. So no need to do anything with that. Let's just click create your account. Congrats on making it this far. All right, guys, we have our domain name entered already. We're just gonna create a password here, which is important because it will log us into Bluehost. 
it's actually really important because this will get you into the Bluehost dashboard where you manage things like your domain, your hosting, your payments, your add-ons. So take this part seriously, even though sometimes Greg over here forgets his password. I don't want that to be you. Okay, just trying to drill that in. Remember your Bluehost passwords. Da -da 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 -da, and we can create an account. <laughs> Okay, and if you get that little message, just wait a little bit and then try to click create account again. Next, click go to login. And we're gonna get used to logging into our my.bluehost.com portal here. And the link to log into Bluehost is of course my.bluehost.com whenever you wanna do it again. And we can even delete that and I'll just show you that that's the link to go to. Pop in our password that we just created. Hopefully we still remember it. And welcome to the Bluehost WordPress dashboard made specifically for self-hosted WordPress. We can either create your website or if you already have a website and need to migrate it, we can start migration, but that's of course not us. So let's create your website. All right, it's gonna ask us if we want any guidance from Bluehost and we're just gonna say no help needed because you guys have me here and we're gonna do it from scratch. The purpose is gonna be anything we really wanna feel like, so blog, and then from here, you can actually take it in two directions, the WordPress option, which is just a default wordpress.org blog, where the majority of us bloggers and entrepreneurs start. It's got WordPress, theme-based site building, and customizable code, and of course, plugins and themes and all that. Or the WordPress beginner option, which is their Bluehost custom website builder. So because I want you to have the experience of almost every WordPress builder and developer who's come before us, we're gonna choose the one on the left and just get a standard copy of WordPress. That way we can do all these other things, but it's not sort of dumbed down for beginners. So let's click get started on the left. What type is it? We can choose any sort of type, but what we really wanna make is a resume website, which is like a personal website. So why don't we call it portfolios and we're creating our site for myself someone else and continue we can name our site again we can change that later and continue it's going to try to find us wordpress themes which is pretty nice of bluehost to take the time to do that and on this screen you can actually learn all about the difference between free and premium themes pretty cool just a heads up that Bluehost is a business and they may try to recommend you premium themes that they're actually selling. So we wanna go with the theme that's free because nowadays there's a ton of really high quality free WordPress themes. So if you wanna search, go ahead. Or if you wanna run a question by Greg in the comments, then go ahead too. But in this case, I'm confident we have a better portfolio theme than what's available right here. All right, so we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and skip this step. And here we go. Bluehost just installed WordPress for us. It took probably 1.2 seconds. And it will take us to our Bluehost dashboard. So from here we have home, we have my sites, a list of all your sites. And now our site is just wearing the default 2022 theme because we didn't choose a different theme. We can see our domain name here. And when you click manage site, we'll get the main website headquarters. You can add a user, like if someone wants to work on your site, Backups are great so that you never lose any content. You can always check your performance, things like your speed, update your security so you don't get hacked, check your plugins and general settings as well. If you have a weird temporary domain name, then you're gonna to wanna to put that in site URL. All right, and you could also do things like delete the site or take the coming soon page off or put it on. Or maybe it just wants to stay off right now, cool. Okay, back in home, we're gonna click on log into WordPress in the upper right corner, and this will take you right into your WordPress dashboard. So we have Bluehost dashboard, AKA Bluehost portal, those are the same things. And now we're going to WordPress dashboard where you're gonna learn how to blog and make a website with Bluehost. 